What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys, with another repair tip. Hopefully this will help you guys troubleshoot your miners as you start to have trouble. This one has been running really well. It had six cards. It's been running for like two and a half years, not a problem. All of a sudden, one card just dropped off. Uh, last time I basically took it apart, uh, loosened each card and reset them into the risers to see if that adjusted it. All six cards came back up. It ran for about a week. We're having the same problem again where the six cards dropped off, only five are running. And I believe it's a bad riser. So the easiest thing to do is to unplug one card at a time, which we've already done, and we have determined that it is this card right here, which is bad. And when we unplugged it, the machine worked and turned on just fine, didn't have any problems mining. Now when we plug the card back in and we turn the machine back on, uh, another good sign of this is if you're having a blue screen problem, it is not always a software issue. It can be a hardware issue. Well, for this time, it happened to boot up for us. The last time we tried this, it gave us a blue screen. So the blue screen isn't always software. It can be a hardware-based application. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and replace that riser and, but for, uh, and see if that solves our problem. But first, we're going to unplug that particular card um, it should be, is that it? Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and start it back up again and see if we have any type of uh, hiccups or not or if it just starts loading really fast. As you can saw, see last time, it delayed. It should be much faster. There we go. So bad risers can cause other problems that don't seem connected. It's amazing. All these little parts are all connected, software, the whole nine. So simple things like a bad cord. I could replace just this cord and not the riser, and this could be the problem itself. So best practice is to just open a new riser and replace the entire part. The end, the USB cord, and the riser itself for best practice and you won't have any problems with it later on good luck troubleshooting your rigs guys if you have any problems uh, or any thoughts i also love troubleshooting <laughs> it's actually pretty fun to me so i don't mind helping ask away see you guys